This is the kind of open elements that create Trinidad and Tobago's vibe when we lime in, as you mentioned earlier. This is the kind of breeze that I like. Not a hot kitchen. Hungry? Then don't move because you are watching How To Foodie Nation. Today we're back in the yard to learn how to make baji rice with pigtail. So let's get cooking. So you bring me in the yard. Mm -hmm. After all this time of doing this show, people are asking for baji rice. Baji rice. You put me in the yard, you know, we're in a different vibe here right now, but... We needed to do this in the yard. So baji rice is like a lime kind of food, a river lime kind of food, a beach lime kind of food. So I needed you to come outside with me. I see that, but you see a dress for the occasion. Yeah, you're looking like Bush. I'm looking floral. Floral is the proper word, Kenzie. I'm sorry. My gosh. He's looking like the flora, guys. It's a bit uncouth right now. <laughs> We're in the yard. We're having fun. Yeah. Let me see what's going on here. So we have all the ingredients. The smuggler's board, you can check me out. Ring burner and stuff Ring like that. Ring stove. Roughing it in the bush today. Mm -hmm. And we're making our baji rice with pigtail in it. Pigtail being the most important part of the baji rice, okay? Yeah, well, I mean, you can use different meats and we'll talk about that in a little while. Yeah. Of course, we have our spinach, aromatics, onions, mm -hmm. pimento, celery, okra, rice, pumpkin, carrots. Some good looking carrots. And of course, we're going to cook it down. We're going to show you how to do it. Can mm -hmm. you bring many bush? Let me do this. Let's start. All right, so medium to high heat. Okay. We're going to be adding in about two to three tablespoons of oil inside there. Mm -hmm. So when you know oil hit the pot, obviously, you start to see that smoking element Smoky. taking place already, yes. right? So the idea is that people would put the pigtail inside of the oil. Yeah, and one to time. Cook down. Mm -hmm. It renders down the fat, you'll get that nice uh, impregnation of fatty flavor going on. And that nice pigtail smell. <laughs> but I'm doing a little different. Here what okay. we're going to do. I'm going to add a little bit of sugar inside here. Wait, like, wait. Yeah, I know you're going to hit me. Tell me. This looking like stew, my friend. Since when is stew pigtail in bad We rice? are a sugar country. We are sugar country. So if I could stew up this pigtail a little bit, I bring a, a different flavor profile into it, Kezi. Oh, excuse me, levels. Levels this of flavor. This is levels to the bad rice? Exactly. No, it's, gonna, it's not going to turn the bad rice brown. Okay. Remember that. Okay. It's just a touch, maybe like about a tablespoon and a half of sugar inside here. Right, so and we're I, developing different levels of flavor profile, basically. So, pigtail is what? Salty. Salty. You're going to get a little bit of sweetness inside of the caramelization. Okay. So, we see what's going on here already, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Going in. Hot and ready. But please don't burn me. Well, see. as you could see what's taking place, pigtail is already starting to stew up. Yep. You're going to get that nice color. Now, mm. as you would know, pigtails need to be pre-boiled before time. Of course, to I, take out some of that extra salt. I did that two or three times. So that's what's going on inside here. Okay. I have some garlic and onion. Garlic, yes. actually, that you were dealing with any pestle. Yes, yes, yes. That I mushed up very nicely. Beautiful. Could you put that inside there for me? I have sure. a spoon here for you. Thank you, sir. That you could use. So toss it in. Let me get some space now, boy. Go through now in the bush. So you can see the color coming in nicely there already, right? Mm-hmm. So I got all? No, no. Half of the thing still inside. I can't see in this big thing. Well, at the end of the day. We know that flavor galore comes from our Ah, there we Kessel. go. Right? Here we go again now, Kezi. Right. We have onions. Onions. So, when you see you put your garlic in a mortar and pestle, you bring out a different flavor. It gets a nice mushed, crushed aspect going on. Onions, let's go. Pimentos. All our aromatics, as All usual. The same aromatics we are custom using, Kezi. Yes, of course. Let's see what's going on here. Now, ladies and gents, you can see how colorful this is starting to develop. When you see our pigtail inside of that star-studded rice later on, you're going to mm -hmm. have some sort of Character. Character, quality, rather than just a boiler piece of pigtail that looking white. <laughs> Celery? Certainly. Beautiful stuff, right? Look at that. Now that, ladies and gents, is obviously when you see you're cooking in the backyard. Mm -hmm. Whether you're cooking fireside, you're cooking on the stove, rain yeah. burner, chulha. This is the kind of open elements that create Trinidad and Tobago's vibe when we lime in, as you mentioned earlier on. This is the kind of breeze that I like. Not a hot kitchen. <laughs> So you have that going on inside here, right? Yes. Now at this point in time, what mm -hmm. we need to do is introduce our baji. So let that go for a little period of time. Let's talk right. about it. Now this is what you call chorai baji. Chorai or baji. Spinach. Okay. Local spinach, right? Okay. I've taken the liberty of actually cleaning some already. This is how it comes. Mm -hmm. And you basically put, peel out the stem like that. Even really? this little piece of stem here? That piece of stem okay. because that is soft. That cooks down. Right. So you're going like that, mm -hmm. throwing that inside here. Okay, now when it comes down to these woody pieces here, yeah. some people omit it or they leave it out. What I like to do is just snap it. If it's a little too woody, don't worry about it. If you snap it, like I want to show you. Okay. okay, so when you snap it, you could pull back the skin like that ah. and peel it. 
Yeah. It's almost similar to like dashi and bush bhaji. All right. So you could use all of that too? You could use all of this inside here. Bala, bala, See how it comes bala, bala. out and it breaks and it snaps easily? Yeah. So that works very well. Just make sure to remove this part. It's lignin. It has fibrous content. Okay. All right, and that goes inside here. One part we're not using for sure are these buds. No, we're not using those buds. Okay, so let's rest them down here. Okay. And not relevant. So what we're going to do now is put this inside here to cook down. Okay. Now you call this chorai bhaji. Yeah. And there's dashing bush bhaji that we know about for Dash kalaloo. Kalaloo, correct. Mm -hmm. No. At the same time, I know where you're going with this. Can you use dashing bush for bhaji rice? You can. But, but something about the texture, it, it cooks down very quickly. Okay. It gets that slimy sort of like a property. So it doesn't stand up as well. It doesn't stand up as well as, comp mm. as this local spinach. I feel you. Right, and there are many different types of spinach as you know. There's like yes. dashing bush, mm -hmm. there's chorai, there's poi bhaji, oh, oh, oh. sai chan bhaji. Oh, oh, oh. Do you know that actually pak choy? actually falls within the whole spinach family also. Really? Yeah. Bok choy, pak choy. Well, I mean, the leaf looks the same. You want to give this a little toss up? Huh? Try it now. Try you, your hand. you want me to throw all this bhaji out? Try your hand again, gosh. You all want me to throw all, all this bhaji out of the people pots. Look, look. You're doing anything, man. Just look, take your time, look. you know. You know how much people outside there just tell me, say, listen, <laughs> Kezi gives me the confidence to cook at home. If Kezi could do it, If Kezi, the simple it. home cook, could do it, anybody could do it. <laughs> and throw half the spinach outside the people pot. Good job. So what happens here with the bhaji never unless it cooks down? Right. So what we want to do at this point, just want to cover it for about two to three minutes. All right. How are we looking there? I feel like we cool, we cool. It's, it's, it's cut down significantly. Right, so I wanted to do singe the bhaji a little bit. Okay. We're going in with our okra. So that'll bring a little bit of slime and texture. Mm -hmm. Very important to our bhaji rice. A lot of people do not put okra in bhaji rice. And it's something that I think is a must. All right, we're going in with our rice now. We put in any rice all now? All now. But but it has no water. I it's going to strip. We're parching it up. Very similar to oh, the pilau. Oh, yeah, we learned this technique before. In our pilau before. episode, mm -hmm. you put the rice to start to stick a little bit. And when right. it thirsts, we're going to yeah. start to put our water inside there. Then we add the moisture. Got we're it. We're going in with our pumpkin. Remember, all these things have a significant amount of moisture inside of it. They eh? do. Pumpkin, carrots. So we're going in. Moisture and color. Exactly. All right. We're going with some chives. Beautiful. Or chives, scallions, green onions. And uh, we don't like to waste time. So, you know, of course. We Must come in with it. No, because you can see what's going on here, right? If you want, you could actually. Use, hold, what, what I want to do is give you back this see. food. Thank Kezi, you. Kezi. You trying to set me up for disaster. In the meantime, what do you want you to do? What you need me to do? Make some coconut milk for me. Certainly. Can do that for So we have a pack of powdered coconut milk. You can mm -hmm. use fresh coconuts. At this point in time, I was getting a bit of a problem to go out to the vendor to get some coconuts. So I used coconut in the pantry. I had some powdered milk. We have to improvise. That's all. These days, you know, you have to use what you have in your pantry. Mm -hmm, all right? Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I want you to mix the powdered coconut with the water. So we're making a coconut milk at this point in time. To that, we have some paprika powder. Okay. Put that inside here also. See that? We're going in with some black pepper. Everything in here? Yes, and a touch of salt. Remember, we do have salted uh, pig pig tails in there. I'm just adding a little bit right now, and we could always add later on. Now, you see what's going on here right now? It's starting to stick. It's starting and to stick a little bit. That's a good indication, but you could see all the colors. Everything is pronounced. You have right? the pumpkin. The carrots, the okra, the thyme, Looking the bhaji, gorgeous. and you could still see that the pigtail has some sort of distinctive character. Mm -hmm. You ready for that water? Let's go. I'm ready for you, my friend. Pour it in for me. Whole thing? Whole thing, my dear. All right. Look at that. You hear that? <laughs> That's the melody of Foodie Nation, boy. Good job, Kezi. Bring that in together just like that. Remember, that mixture that she mixed, coconut powder, the water, the paprika, the salt, the black pepper inside here. Everything. That is like our flavorful stock. So, Kezi. And of course, you push the spoon to remove anything that would have stuck. She know the thing. I've learned, anything guys. Anything that's stuck to the bottom of the pot, you scratch it out. Those mm -hmm. caramelized bits. It's called yeah. deglazing. So, Kez, what's going on here now? We're going to bring this to a boil. Cover okay. bring it to a boil. When it reaches the boil, yeah. reduce the temperature to medium. Let mm -hmm. it simmer for 20 to 25 minutes. All righty. Kezi, we at a uh, bubble here, girl. It smells so yummy. Look how pretty this thing looking. You see all the meat is inside there. Everything still has its integrity. The pumpkin, the carrots. Look at that. And it's cooking up really nicely. Currently, meat a good ring burner in the backyard. Mm -hmm. Go get this on the stove. Right. 
I feel like I have something for you, you know. Give me something. What you have there? Come on. Yeah, boy, I struggle. I mean, your car be turned in a pot outside gosh, with all the right tools. Dabla. You ever get licks with one of these? No, child. You? Of course. It's I like mean, the eyes get licks with the wash now. I, I know you're a naughty boy, I so I'm not surprised. Enough. I was bad enough. I was bad enough. You see, that's how I could do these things in the backyard. <laughs> I had training. Ask my mother. <laughs> Give me a piece of butter then, please. Okay. We're going to put a little piece of salted butter inside here. This will allow to condition the rice. Flavor it down. I mean, if you don't want, you could omit it. It's not a problem. But let that just melt away and kusume inside here. Mm -hmm. So, Kezi, what I want to do is just bring this down to a medium temperature now, as mentioned. Okay. And I'm going to cover it down. This has about 15 to 18 minutes again. And then it's time to eat? Of course! Yay! Eating time soon. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, Kezi, this is pretty much done. You can see that nice steam coming out there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this off. Right? Now, what's going to happen is that we need to add the last set of seasonings to this. So, the finishing touches. I always love when herbs yeah. basically are added at the end. You get the nice flavors coming through. Mm -hmm. So, Shadow Benny. Sure. Go inside there. And this is just freshly chopped Shadow Benny. Parsley works well inside here. Let's put in a little touch of black pepper and salt there for me also. Certainly. Remember, we do have the salted pigtails inside here already. So, it's just to give a finishing touch. And of course, we knew that uh, pretty much if you're not fond of pigtails, mm -hmm. Smoke bones work excellently inside there. Saltfish. Saltfish, another favorite, but we are fans of pigtail. Yes. Now, Kezi, as you see this here, the steam is rising. That means vapor is occurring right now. Mm -hmm. You let this sit for about five, six, seven, ten minutes. It's going to dry up even more. How Can many you? minutes? Five, five six, six, seven, seven ten? Eight, five, six, seven, ten minutes. Okay. Listen. That's how it is. You make a pot of pale or batch, you rise around 12 o'clock or mm -hmm. 5 o'clock in the afternoon, it's still hot. <laughs> you gotta cut it with a knife like cake. So we leave a little bit inside here. So, time to basically Eats. take my beautiful plate. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you're a pig tail girl, eh? so let me make sure I get I some. have the forks ready. Look at that. Look at the mm. color of the bhaji inside there, or the spinach rather. Go oh, a piece of time inside there. We're wasting time. Let me take that out. You can fish it out. And we're getting that beautiful pigtail coming through. Look at, that. Look at that, people. The color of this spad, the spinach is so important. And you can see the carrots keep their texture. The pumpkin has cooked down incredibly. How beautiful that looks. What can you have with this? Coastal. We need other things Coastal. with this? I mean, you could have a coleslaw with it. It's pretty good. I would personally just like a glass of Moby. Oh, gosh. There yes. you go, so, sir. Let me do this. So, let's enjoy. Dig in. Oh, look how creamy it is. That's that coconut milk, yeah? Don't forget to blow, okay? It just come out. Oh my gosh. I don't want to get burned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, the okra really does add some good texture to this boy. 10 10 would recommend. I mean, Go and pop it. Go and pop it. I, I was hoping, I was hoping you would allow me Look to. Look at that. You see the color? This is what so we spoke about earlier on when we stew it down. You get that color. Tell people what you think. <laughs> I did well. And that's the beauty about when you're cooking in the backyard, front yard, at home. A lot of love goes into it. And I at want the same all time, the Right, okay. A lot of love and a lot of pigtail. Because you a moment here. You want the pot? I, I could get the whole pot? You could get the whole pot. I mean, People, thank you. Because he's very excited about this new session of outdoor cooking. We love it. We love all this fresh breeze. We love these fresh ingredients. Guys, tell us, what else would you like us to make outside? What other yard cooks we need to pull up on? Comment below. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you're fond about. Yes. At the same time, because they need to subscribe. For sure. And like, and share, and tell us if you make it. Mm -hmm. And by all means, we will fulfill whatever you guys want us to make. We've been listening to you guys. Yes. We're getting to them one by one. Mm -hmm. Yes, Foodie Nation, how to is there for you in time of learning <laughs> and teaching you all the greats here throughout Transbego and the Caribbean. Definitely. So as always, we're gonna finish eating. So until next time, love you guys. Bye bye. Come back with, come back with my plates. <laughs>